Okay, hello all. Okay, this is a tutorial for Fonts Lab. Okay, Fonts Lab is like a fonts editor software um, that's been around in the market for a thousand of years. So it can be used across the platform. Whether you use Mac or PC, okay, you can use Fonts Lab. It have all the function that you need to design typefaces. Okay, the first thing when you open Fonts Lab, this is Fonts, app, uh, Fonts Lab 8, by the way. Um, the first thing is you have to give it a family name okay uh, the family name of your fonts okay the next thing you might need to kind of like think about the type of character that you need to design in this case in this particular um, tutorial i'm going to use just typical latin simple which is um it will have like minimal character for latin character or roman character give it a name and then hit create new fonts here and then you will see all the um you know grip window here this is all the character that you need to design okay if you double click on each of the letter here okay there's nothing here but you have to draw each of the letter here inside of the grip window by the way this panel is called grip window the first thing that you have to do is go to um the fonts info this icon okay fonts info you click it and then after that you have to determine the dimension of your fonts the name of the fonts okay in this case i give it a name p666 you can give other names to the font in case that when you give the family name it and the style name doesn't match okay with the family name you have to hit build name here it will then it will change it but in this case it already changed all the name um, for me the next thing is go to family dimension okay this might be a little bit tricky actually you have to come up with your own um, you know proportion dimension okay the descender is a negative number as you can see here you see minus in front of the number right but actually it's the distance between the best line to the descender line okay so it's 250 all right and the ascender is um, 750 okay you can change the number to whatever you like okay the working space is in upm okay or unit per m basically is a relative unit which is like you know you can scale up scale it down but usually for open tiles now a day a thousand upm is pretty common for the artboard that you're going to work on so it's set it up at a thousand upm okay because it's going to be easier to like calculate all the number okay the next thing that you have to um you know change is font dimension in this part okay you have to change the cap height x height it depends on you how you're going to set it up okay um usually 500 for x height is normal my advice is you might try to sketch your typeface first and you know scale it up okay and then you know just kind of like test it around whether which of the height is better how high is like the best okay in this case i'm going to put like 450 here cap height it depends we can change it later as well okay Descender is all right. Ascender, you change it to 800. For cap height, it depends. Sometimes cap height and center height might be the same. Okay, it might not be the same. It depends on you as well. Okay, but in this case, I will set it as the same. It's high descent and height. Okay, done. Hit apply and hit okay. Now, if you click the grip window right now, you might see the initial character here the b this is the best line where all the characters should sit on right if you scroll up you will see the x height this is the height of all the capital letter exclude the extender by the way this is the ascender the height of ascender okay and the cap height as well in this case it might be separate okay um, if you use different height for cap height and ascender height so um, okay, I'm going to like demonstrate how to draw a character here. You might use 
just typical rectangle tools or ellipse tool here to create a correct or you can use um you know the tools here is quite um similar to illustrator adobe illustrator okay contours although the name are different here but it's quite the same okay that's illustrator illustrator and that's brush to rapid uh pencil sorry P pencil again but this rapid um you know pencil okay so i will show you later in other tutorial okay how it works the pen tool slice tool knife tool okay this is a tool magnet and other okay you can scale it up and down okay as well by just hit command t okay that is free time form shortcut or um use control t if you use pc okay in this case let's draw something how about that i'm going to use like pen tools here typical tools okay you draw it on the baseline like this okay i mean there's many tricks okay which of course you can also use other things okay make sure that your typeface is consistent okay the capital letter should be here right okay make sure it cover like meet the um you know dimension there okay the interesting thing about font slab is usually if you draw it clockwise it will be like positive space but if you draw it anti-clockwise it will be negative space or if you want to create a counter close counter here you have to draw it oh god it's not happening what happened usually you have you have to draw it anti-clockwise yes yes okay yeah like this and then you can also move it around okay just in the case that you draw it in the wrong position okay okay let's demonstrate this pen tools what happened okay you might notice that the a guideline the a character in the background just disappear okay it never exists in the beginning so don't be panic okay if you want a guideline or a sketch you can import the artwork here as a guideline okay this is not uh this very ugly a i'm doing it quickly that's why you know it's not gonna be perfect please um you know don't judge me based on the horrible letter form i'm just want to demonstrate how to do everything okay if you like hit space bar right now you can see that the, there's no counter here although you always draw it okay how to fix it okay you might hit a on your keyboard or select this white arrow select this white arrow right and then select one of the corner right click on it and then that's going to be an option called reverse contour click on it it will change this um you know to counter yeah so that is for this tutorial okay so it's a this tutorial is about the, the font info dimensions and you know how to use the pen tool generally clockwise anti-clockwise thank you very much